Hi, I'm Israel Anderson. Welcome to Ron Paul Flick's Daily News for April 16, 2012. Got some exciting news coming out of Minnesota and Colorado to share with you. We just won the entire delegation from Minnesota. What does this mean? Well, Minnesota has three districts and three delegates get elected to each district. They go to state and they get elected there. Uh, we just won every single one of them. Every single last one. Santorum, Romney, nowhere to be found. So some have talked about how we need five uh, completely won delegations to go to the state convention and uh, the national convention rather in order to be on the ballot as the nominee. Well, number one, is there guaranteed. Uh, Colorado, we just won 12 plus eight, I'll get to those eight in just a minute, out of 36. So we didn't get 50%, although we kinda did. I'll, I'll explain that in just a second, but why is there such a discrepancy between what the media is talking about and what I'm talking about here tonight? Well, the media counts delegates according to caucuses and primary votes, and that is wrong. Uh, delegates are determined at state conventions and most have not yet occurred. So let's take a closer look at what happened in Colorado. The Associated Press reports that Romney has 13, Santorum has 6, and there's 17 unpledged. Not true. Because the actual results from the state convention are thus. Ron Paul has 12, Santorum has 8, uh, plus 8, see? Uh, Romney has 16. Now why have I added Santorum and Ron Paul together? Well, normally that wouldn't be the case, but what happened is there was a conservative Paul Santorum slate with Paul and Santorum delegates that the, the two parties, the two candidates people got together in order to crush Romney's chances of uh, getting the plurality of votes from um, Colorado, which we have done. So we have now got 20 versus Romney 16. This is very, very exciting. See, the Santorum people are really getting on board with the Ron Paul campaign now. Whether you like it or not, uh, some of these Christians simply will not vote for a Mormon because they believe Mormonism is a cult and there's no way in God's green earth they are ever going to vote for him. So that kind of goes in our favor right now. So the Santorum people are helping us out. Now, the Santorum people were actually very surprised at something Ron Paul said in the last couple of days. Ron Paul said this, that Israel can have Jerusalem as its capital if it wants to. Now, this shocked some of the Santorum people because they don't believe that Ron Paul is pro-Israel. But if you knew some of the history of Ron Paul and Israel, Ron Paul's been in the Congress a long time, remember? If you go back, for instance, to say 1981, Israel knew, uh, destroyed Iraq's nuclear reactor and everybody else in the Congress uh, voted on a, a, uh, a bill to put down their actions. Ron Paul didn't. He voted against it. He supported Israel's actions to be a sovereign nation. See, that's the big thing. Ron Paul believes Israel can make its own sovereign decisions without needing to ask us or the US for permission. That's pro-Israel. You see, Ron Paul is tired of Israel being America's lapdog and wants them to be the independent and sovereign nation that they are. Ron Paul is truly pro-Israel. And if you just look back at some of the previous videos where he's talking about Israel, you will see the amazing similarities um, between what uh, Netanyahu has said here in our own Congress and what Ron Paul has said. They say exactly the same thing. And I know some people on that video have posted comments saying Netanyahu's comments before the US Congress are being taken out of context. No, they are not. They're simply not. Uh, moving on to other things, there is a money bomb on today. It actually started yesterday, Sunday, and we just got over a million dollars. Yay, except the goal is two and a half million dollars. We really need to work on this, guys. I know we've given so much. I'm maxed out. I know what it's like, but we gotta give more. We gotta get this up there. I mean, we're doing so well on the delegate count right now, but we need the money. 
Ron Paul has a private jet, you may think, oh, Donald Trump, <laughs> you know, lap of luxury. But the reality is he needs to be able to get around and fly places. So we need to keep that jet in the air. We need to be able to fund all the activities to make sure that we can keep winning delegates like we just did in Minnesota and Colorado. No. Centaurum is probably looking at us right now thinking, I have to nominate or I have to um, endorse Romney because he's the nominee. But there is Ron Paul and it looks like he might be able to do something. If we can keep the campaign going, then maybe there's a chance Centaurum would actually endorse Ron Paul. Now, if Centaurum endorsed Ron Paul, we would get such a flood of support, it would not be funny. But if we can't keep the campaign going, Romney, um, Centaurum, sorry, is really going to have no choice but to endorse Romney because he's the presumptive nominee. We can beat Romney and we're on track to do it. That's the incredible thing. We, look, my own personal opinion, and I can't back this up with the facts, but I've been in this a little while now. I think we are either number one in the delegate count or we are such a ridiculously close second in the delegate count that all we need is to keep pushing a little further and we're going to beat Romney. We may not even need a broker convention in Tampa. We may win on the very first vote. You think that's not possible? Hey, stranger things have happened and other candidates have gone to the convention with just 5% support and won the nomination. We have a whole lot more than 5% support. So please, don't think this campaign is over. Dig deep, give as much as you possibly can. Make sure Ron can keep flying around the country giving the speeches because that's what's rallying the troops. We have to keep doing that. Please give all that you can. That's our show. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Ron Paul Flex, Facebook, Ron Paul Flex. If you want to uh, subscribe, favorite thumbs up and comment, share, do that. Uh, if you want to support us financially, you can do it there. But please, before you do that, get along to, come on, the campaign's website, ronpaul2012.com and give whatever you can towards the money bomb because we really need it badly. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.